Guys, welcome back to A Step Above. In today's video, we're gonna talk about another eBay find. I have this beautiful Ralph Lauren Sear Sucker suit. The color is beige and white. We're gonna talk about what alterations we need to get done. And if one should consider incorporating some form of a Sear Sucker garment in their classic wardrobe. So if this is a video you're interested in, stay tuned. This was a great find from eBay. As you guys know, I am always on the hunt to incorporate vintage garments or just very classically, aesthetically pleasing garments into my wardrobe. Even though it's not summer here in Denver and it's, according to the weather, it's not gonna be summer for a while. However, that did not stop me from jumping on the opportunity to find a summer garment. Now, I have sport coats, I have a linen cotton sport coat, and I have a linen, silk, and wool sport coat. Both are great for the summer, but I do not have a summer suit. And I wanted something that, just like with the, the environment of the fall and everybody just being invigorated with the season, I wanted something that shows it, it resonates with that season. I have a pair of seersucker trousers, you guys may have seen that in video in the past, but I wanted a suit. So I was able to find this suit that fits all of my measurements. That said, some alterations will need to be done and we'll go over those alterations you guys will see little videos pop up somewhere down here. The first alterations we're gonna get done in the chest. As you can see, excuse me, not the chest, but the waist. The waist, we have to get some alterations done. So we'll have the back taken and that's how they get the V taper just to make it more aesthetically pleasing, more masculine. Also, we will get the sleeves lengthened. These are functional buttonholes. Hope that showed up. These are functional buttonholes. So they'll have to lengthen them from the top. I'm not sure how much I'll need to get done. Once I take the suit in, I'll have a little more time to think about it. As you can see, the lapel. This is a three roll two lapel. So it's something beautiful. Now, the shape in itself, it has a very luxurious collar roll, or not collar roll, but lapel roll. So I like this, the buttons hidden behind the lapel for those who may or may not know a three roll too. Also, forgot to mention, the back of the collar. I talked about this in previous videos where I get this roll of the collar. I'm not sure why, I think it's from when I'm working out, I've kind of broad shoulders, so it makes this roll of the collar. So we'll get that taken in. And once we get the waist, the lengthening of the sleeves, the collar roll, and the sleeve lengthening, the jacket, it'll look spot on. Let's talk about the trousers. As you can see, the waist is very nice. I'm not gonna get the waist taken in. It has about an inch of room in them. As you know, on all my suits, I do get suspender buttons, so I'll get the belt loops taken off. And the rise on these trousers, once I get the suspenders put in, it will bring them up to my navel or my natural waistline because I like the drape. They also have pleats, double pleated. I have a pair of seersucker trousers that do not have any pleats, a flat front. I do like those for the summertime as well, but those are white and gray. The beige color, it's such a lovely color for whether it's fall, winter, spring, or summer, that beige or brown tones fits in. We'll also get the hem on the bottom of the trousers. We'll get that even, as you all may know. My right hip is a quarter of an inch higher than my left hip. So it, it'll show my, the length will be about a quarter off from the right to the left. So we'll get that evened out because I want, I don't mind a break. I don't want an excessive break. A, a medium break is something that I'll like just so it lengthens the leg line. I don't want it to pull at the bottom. But once we get the trousers done, we get the jacket done, this suit is going to be ready for the summer. And I cannot wait to wear this. It is a very light suit, if you know anything about Seersucker. Also, there is not a canvas. This is unstructured. It's an unstructured suit, very light shoulder pad. 
it's a minimal, I'd say less than a quarter of an inch of a shoulder pad in here. So it gives that natural, that natural roll or slope in the shoulder. Something that I like, since it's a summer garment, you don't want too much structure. I don't mind structure as long as it's airy and I can breathe in it. Something like this, I can't wait to wear it. It's gonna be such a statement piece, whether I'm wearing just the jacket or the trousers, I already have a pair, but I have the option to mix and match just because I have two garments, technically three if you want to count, jacket, two pair of trousers. That said, if you guys have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section. Also, go and follow my Instagram. That's where you'll see the clips that I'll drop of upcoming videos. As you all know, this video most likely will not air for the next couple months. I drop videos every Monday. So just be on the lookout for that. That said, guys, I appreciate your audience and I'll catch you next time.